Okay, so I put together a little bio uh, complete with pictures of Mr. David Urshan. I used uh, Adobe Premiere. I like to do a little weekend editing. I recently just cut three minutes out of uh, Goodfellas. David Urshan is currently the CEO of Urshan Consortium. Who's that talking? It's the uh, Frontline Narration app. It's only 99 cents. Urshan Consortium. Current financial investments exceed 70 billion. His largest clients include Sharing Plow and Lendl Global. Well, Lendl Global has those TV ads where I can't figure out what they do. Yeah, oil, media, healthcare. You probably heard their jingle. Lendl Global with everything. David Urshan is often found in the company of Judge Scalia. Yeah. And the lead singer of Maroon 5. I mean, this guy could be connected to drug cartels, black market organ sales, human trafficking, all of it. How do you get that from anything I just said? Hey guys, soup's on. What do you mean? <sighs> Hi. How convenient. Enter omniscient monkey right on cue. Well, you know what they say. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. That's it. No more fortune cookies for you. Hi. You must be Terry. I'm sorry I've been hiding, honey, but this dinner was tricky. Ooh. Who are you? I'm Dr. Sheila Gamble, his wife. Come on, seriously, who is that? His old lady. Sweetie, it's a workstation. Got it. When you come in here dressed like a hobo, it's distracting. I know you're working. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Come on, seriously. Come on, what? Who is that? It's the old, uh, it's the old ball and chain. Get over here. Mm. Not, not right now. Okay. Look, they're not all first-round picks, okay? Come on, are you going to tell me who that is? Are you really Alan's wife? Mm, I know. People are shocked because he's Episcopalian and I'm Catholic, but somehow it works. <clears throat> are you going to change? Ooh, I already did. It's no big deal. You look really, really nice. Terry, you don't have to be polite, okay? She looks kind of shitty. Don't speak to her like that, Alan. Look, if I put that in my Cosmo fashion app, you, you probably get a D minus. Ooh, Alan and his apps. He loves them. You know, he's designed three of his own. One of them, can, can I tell? Mm-hmm. One of them. You can take a picture of anybody's face, and I'll tell you what the back of his head looks like. Face back. Face back. I've got some horrible reviews coming out of the gate. It's gonna hit. It's gonna catch. Yeah. Why are you with Alan? I mean, that, that's not what I meant. I meant, um, how did you guys meet? It's a really typical how we met story, Terry. You're gonna be bored by it. I was a dancer for the Knicks while finishing my residency at Columbia Hospital. Alan came into the ER with poison ivy on his rectum. Yes. Needless to say, I fell for him immediately. We immediately uh, spent the next three days at the uh, La Quinta Inn. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, we didn't speak. Three days of not communicating once verbally. We had actually, uh, without knowing it, had developed a, a language of eye flutters and uh, nonverbal gestures. You know, Terry, it was just this primal connection. Mm -hmm. After those three days of nonverbal communication and a whole lot of loving, I had to go to a specialist to get my hips realigned. Similar to uh, operating on a German Shepherd uh, when they have uh, hip dysplasia. Mm -hmm. Very painful. It's funny. It's, it's like a scene from that one movie. Mm -hmm. Always forget the name of it. Uh, with Meg Ryan. Yes. I don't remember a movie where Meg Ryan meets a guy with poison ivy up his ass. I'll think of it. Okay. I'll think of it. So what about you, Terry? Do you have a girl? I did, yeah. We were supposed to get married, but she backed out. It's complicated. Mm. Terry shot Derek Jeter. Shut up, Alan. This is before. That's okay. Ah, she's got mail. That's the name of the That's movie. That's it! Oh. Honey! With Tom Hanks? Mm -hmm. Right, and Meg, Meg Ryan. Ryan. He didn't have poison ivy up his ass. Oh, yes, he yes, did. He did. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Way up there. Well, Terry, can't thank you enough for coming by. What a, what a wonderful, lovely evening. It's thank you. So, so nice meeting you, Terry. It was my pleasure. Thank you. And remember, all I ask of you is you don't let him get hurt, Terry. She tells me that every day before I leave. Yep, I do. I come downstairs and I make him his fresh cut strawberries. And I say, listen, my little sugar balls, whatever you do today, you just don't get hurt. <laughs> yeah, every morning. And then I show him my breasts and I say, these, these are waiting for you when right. you get back home. You know, Terry, they're, they're not the biggest breasts he's ever seen, but man, are they not, not by a long shot. perky and they are firm and they are yours. You're a nice lady. Oh, thank you for coming. Detectives Hoyts and Gamble. Detectives Hoyts and Gamble, over. Go for Hoyts. We found your red Prius. Great. I was trying to vote for Ralph Nader. Come on. Okay, Sugar Balls, listen up. There's going to be fingerprints in that car, and tomorrow we're going to run those fingerprints through the system. If we get a hit, this case is going to heat up faster than a junkie spoon. You do one thing when you wake up tomorrow. Bring it. Thank you, Sheila. Oh, he'll bring it. Good night.
Good night. Thank you, Sheila. Bye, Terry. Bye, Sheila. I'll never forget tonight. Bye, Terry. All right, Alan, whatever. Go inside. Bye, Sheila. See you, see you, Terry. Bye, Sheila. I don't know if you heard me. Bye, Terry. Bye, Sheila.